Jason, the GOP. GOP lawmakers seek to remove marijuana testing ban for military recruit for military recruits from defense bill. So this was published yesterday, hot off the press from Marijuana Moment. Kyle Yeager, thank you very much. Republican members of Congress are seeking to eliminate a provision of a defense bill that would block military branches from testing recruits for marijuana as a condition of enlistment, while other members push for a variety of new drug policy amendments that would prevent security clearance denials based on past cannabis use, expanded expungement eligibility, and facilitate the rescheduling of certain psychedelics, amongst other reforms. The proposals are being pursued as part of the 2025 National Defense Authorization Act, which cleared the House Armed Services Committee last month and must now go before the Rules Committee before potentially reaching the floor. That panel will be taking up a separate defense-focused spending bill in mon on Monday, where members will consider several overlapping amendments including proposals to authorize the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs doctors to issue medical marijuana recommendations to military veterans, prevent marijuana testing for federal job applicants in legal states, and support research on the therapeutic benefits of psychedelics. As currently drafted, the House NDAA bill contains a section to prevent military branches for testing recruits for, can recruits for marijuana for enlistment or commission. However, Representative Pete Sessions, Republican, and Robert Adderhall, Republican, each filed separate amendments to strike that section, which reads Section 531, Prohibition on Cannabis Testing for Enlistment or Commission in Certain Armed Forces. Subject to subsection of Section 504 of Chapter 31 of Title 10, United States Code, the Secretary of the Military Department concerned may not require an individual to submit to a test for cannabis as a condition of enlistment of such individual as a member or the commission of such individual as an officer of the armed forces. Adderhalt's version of the amendment is co-sponsored by Representatives Mary Miller, Republican, Josh Breachin, Republican, Andrew Clyde, Republican, and Gary Palmer, Republican. The language of the bill mirrors a proposed amendment to DOD appropriations legislation last year that was filed by Representative Matt Gates, Republican. DOD told lawmakers last year that the marijuana's active ingredient, Delta 9 THC, is the most common substance that appears on positive drug tests for active duty military service members. And several military branches have taken steps to loosen cannabis-related restrictions, including issuing waivers for recruits who tested positive their first time. To that end, Representatives Dave Joyce, Republican, and Earl Blumenheyer, Democrat, filed another amendment that would require the Secretary of Defense to submit a report to Congress with a plan to create, disseminate, and use a clear definition for the reenlistment waiver process to clarify that the existing policy allows for such waivers to reapply for enlistment after testing positive for THC. Of course, that might not be necessary if the bill is enacted with the broader cannabis testing ban provisions in place. Representative Robert Garcia filed another familiar amendment that would prevent military departments, oh yeah, he's a Democrat, from denying security clearances to people who had based solely on their past marijuana use if it was in compliance with state law. It reads sec Section 17, Prohibition on Availability of Funds to Deny Security Clearances on Marijuana Use. Section A, prohibition, none of the funds authorized to be appropriated by this act would be used to revoke or deny a security clearance under Section 3002B of the Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004 or any other provision of law prior to the completion of a full security clearance background investigation by an authorized investigative agency and issuance of a final decision or denial or revocation by an authorized adjudicative agency on the sole basis that an individual used marijuana. So... What does this mean? Continuing, Tony Gonzalez, Republican, and Jimmy Panetta, Democrat, and Joaquin Castro, Democrat, filed an amendment to codify that military service members can't be penalized for using or possessing federally legal hemp products. Step in the right direction. Since hemp was federally legalized under the 2018 Farm Bill, multiple military branches have updated their policies around the use of products such as CBD. While some have simply cautioned about the risk of mislabeled products containing excessive THC, others like the Navy and Air Force have outright banned the use of hemp regardless of its legal status. Another proposed amendment 
from Representative Madeline Dean, Democrat Pennsylvania, and Nancy Mace, Republican South Carolina, would create a streamlined process for the Drug Enforcement Administration to move drugs designated as breakthrough therapies by the Food and Drug Administration from Schedule 1 to Schedule 2 of the Controlled Substances Act, which could help facilitate a phased rollout of these potentially life-saving therapies via FDA-approved expanded access pilot programs. The amendment text doesn't mention any specific drugs, but the summary specifically discusses MDMA and psilocybin as an example of such breakthrough therapies. This comes as an FDA advisory committee is set to meet this week to discuss a new drug application for MDMA-assisted therapy for the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. Representatives Glenn Ivey, D. Um, uh, Missouri, uh, Representatives Laura Lee, R. Flora, Mike, Mickey Sherrell, D. New Jersey, Barry Moore, R. Alabama, and Kelly Armstrong, Republican North Dakota, have also filed an amendment to expand eligibility for expungement of nonviolent drug convictions by removing an age restriction limit relief to those who were under 21 at the time of the offense. So this article goes on and on. It has a bunch of the amendment language. I feel like I would probably lose the rest of you if I kept writing every little subsection. But I think you kind of get the gist here, which is, in short, there is movement to not allow the testing of recruits. This is not active service members. This is people who have voluntarily chosen to want to serve their country in any branch of the armed services. And so there is movement to eliminate a positive cannabis drug test as a reason for not subsequently being hired by the military. And about five or six Republicans are choosing to block that. This is Yaro Kubrin, high at nine news. I sure hope Jason bites. You know, I'm not <laughs> biting on this. He's, he's, on his, he's on his tiptoes right now. <laughs> uh huh. You guys are so funny. So why is it so that there's no Democrats supporting this Jason? That's what I was There's asking. Two. There's two. That's what in I was story. asking. There's two there's in my two. story for a separate. No, there's a two in my story for a separate amendment. There's actually three, three things that are covered here, but it is only Republicans that are uh, supporting the language about disqualifying recruits based on a positive cannabis test. Look, those, they want those, to know those. if these recruits are moral enough to join the army, travel to foreign countries, burn women, kids, houses, and villages after smoking a joint. <laughs> those, uh, right. those, oh, those, those, well, uh, those, strong, those, strong young white men are smoking reefers, and that's the only way we're going to save our military is if we let them come in here. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's that's more like what it is actually. I just, I, I, I would just say, I would just say that that those men. <laughs> these, these guys are not 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 real freedom based Republicans. These are ideologues, and uh, they need to check themselves. That's what I have to say about it. Right. They so, rhinos? So, so what Jason is? Yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. I would I would classify them as rhinos. Yes, I would classify them as rhinos. Yes. So, so what you're saying is there's a wing of the Republican Party that is not for freedoms. Yes, I yeah I agree with that. I, I oh, agree with it that there are There's certain members that are not that are not freedom party. fighters that are that are yeah a hundred percent just like there's members of the Democratic Party that are a hundred percent like that. I would say there's a lot of members of the Democratic Party that are against the citizens, and I think there's a lot of members of the Republican Party that are also against the citizens. I think that there's um, an obvious discrepancy with like what's happening in our government, in the Congress, and what the actual constituency wants um, in most of these cases, and we're seeing that play out, um, obviously, with this Middle Eastern conflict right now. And it's not going to get any better. We don't have enough resources to pay them what they want and enough clout to give them the juice that they need to do other things. It's just how it goes. Ordinary hey, citizens Ron. actually don't carry any clout, any weight. Come on, I hit you. I think you hit the nail on the uh, on the head right there. I mean, I'm all for you know getting away, uh, doing away with these drug tests and everything uh, to let people in the military. But I don't think it'll it'll uh, put even like the slightest of dents. In their problems with recruitment because yeah um all true. these recruiting or these recruitment age candidates right now 
They see all the fuckery the U.S. has been up to. You want to go right. fight some wars for no fucking exactly. reason? Go over there and screw with uh, everything. Like, you want to go uh, fight Russians in Ukraine? You want to go exactly? You want to go kill yeah, innocent children and, and women it, it, in, it's no in longer, Israel? It's no longer about okay, yeah. quote unquote, fighting for our freedom. Uh, everything that they're fighting for now is to cover up a bunch of fuckery that we've done, uh, um, uh, displacing their own leaders, and it's just like. Genocide. Let's just call it what it is, man. Like, yeah. Shit's going on. And, uh, and all and of it you're... has the U.S.'s DNA uh, um, uh, somewhere abound in, in these news stories. Yeah, and we're going to recall Vietnam where there's conscription all of a sudden in the United States. And it was a bunch of, you know, pot smoking, you know, hippies that were shipped off to go fight um, in, in a foreign land. And that's that's exactly what we're seeing now. The ease up before the mandate, right? It's like, hey, it's not a problem. Don't worry. You got flat feet. Don't worry. You got asthma. Don't worry. You have like one leg. No worries. Like, we'll, we'll, find a, we'll find a job for you <laughs> in the military. Don't worry. But, um, and, 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 and go ahead, Jay. I, I, just, I just have to say uh, that, that, that on this before, before we move on, that it is not in the United States best interest to be denying applicants wanting to join the military services for cannabis. That is not in the United States best interest. Well, unfortunately, you and I 100% agree. It is not in the best interests of our armed forces oh. to be denying applicants, not even active service members. It's not like, oh, you just, yeah. you're in the theater of operation and we want to make sure you're clear headed and you're keeping yourself level set. No, this is just people who would like to join. And what I really appreciated is that Jason on tape has said that Republicans who are against personal freedoms are not true Republicans. And They're so not. Some, and, and you heard it from Jason. And so Saman, I'm not bringing up the women's right to choose right now, but we know that that's a personal freedom too. And that's that real I'm not buying real that. Republicans, not buying real that. Republicans are for personal freedom, and we've got it on tape. I'm not buying that one, but we're going to— you, you, you tell us three things that make a, re, a quote-unquote real Republican. Go. Personal freedom. How about— Less taxes. How, how, how about, Rico, we just move in to Saman? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the bait exactly. out of his mouth here. <laughs> Yeah, and a real thing is a real Republican. <laughs> no, real Republicans are personal liberties, is... less taxes, and and yeah, and, and, right about and states' part. rights and states' yeah. rights and and, and, right and, and less personal government. liberties unless they disagree with ours. And they'll, and they'll have, one of, <laughs> have one of those. Not say anything bad about Donald Trump. Right? I'm next. 